Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. What I want to cover in this module is how you can change the cost sheets in a resource. For example, if a resource is going to do corporate training, they get a set amount. If it's internal training, it's a different amount. If it's overseas, it's a different amount again. So that is in the cost tables in a resource. So if I go to the resource sheet, I have one resource called Bob. If I open up Bob, these are the cost sheets for resources. So at the moment, it's got £10 and £15. If I go back to general, um, that this is all the details for a resource, but the 10 and 15 is coming off this screen here. You can see that there, standard and overtime. So all of this information is all to do with Bob. But the cost sheet there, 10 and 15 has come through. So that's the default cost sheet A. Now, every time you allocate Bob, that is the figure that will come through. So if I just do that first, if I allocate Bob to one of these tasks, so corporate training, for example, if I go to resource, assign Bob, assign him, that comes through as an £80. If I just close that, I'm going to change this to the cost table so you can actually see the cost as I do this. So I'll put that to cost, so you see the £80 there on that top one. Now, if corporate training is charged at a higher rate than is basic, you can change that to be a separate cost table. So if I go back to the resources and double click back into Bob and click on B, I might say, right, if, it, if I use cost table B, it's going to be £20 and £25 over time. And then if I use cost C while I'm here, I might want to use a fixed cost for internal training maybe. So internal training is say 150. So for internal training, that's 150. So default is normal rate of pay. And B could be corporate. I'll change that to corporate. C, that's a fixed cost. And let's do overseas for D. So D, let's say um, on D you're going to get paid £50 standard rate per hour and £60 over time. So that's quite good money. And then click OK to that. Now if I go back to the Gantt chart and click on resources again and assign resources. So if I put Bob on internal training, assign, he's getting the default 80. If I put him on overseas training, assign, he's getting the default 80. So how do I change it so he gets the other cost sheets? Well, what you have to do is go into either resource information or task information to set that up. And I'm going to split the screen to show you how that would work. So I'll go to details and the second half I'll get uh, task information, wherever it is. Task usage, I mean, that one. So I'll click on the top one. So you can see there's corporate training and there's Bob. Don't worry about him being over allocated, that's just for demonstrations. If I double click on Bob, so at the minute, the cost sheet coming through, look, is cost A. But corporate training, let's say corporate training is coming from cost sheet B. When I click OK to that, he now gets £160 because the rate is higher. Internal training, let's click on that one. Again, you get the option to double click on Bob and change the cost sheet. Let's say that's cost C. So that's the, that's the fixed cost of £150 for internal training. And then overseas training, if I double click on that and go to cost rate D, he's getting £400 a day when he does that for that one day task. So that's using each of the cost sheets pulling information through for different types of training in this example, but different rates that are applicable to different sorts of tasks. Now, what you can also do in the resource is use dates to change the rate. So at the moment, I've just used different cost sheets. So if I remove this split and just go back into the resource sheet for a minute and get back into Bob. So there's the default rate. Now, coming down, if I set a date, say next week, this guy is going to do um, 
work for a manager while the manager's on leave or away on some sort of long-term contract, you might get a pay rise while you're doing that job. So I might just put that up for that period. And that might be just, say, a few days, a few weeks or a few months. But if I just go and put it down for 3rd of April to the 3rd of April, then it comes back down to 10 and back down to 15. So that's like pay of higher higher position. So if you've, if you've got that sort of system going on in your organisation, that's how you can do that on the standard one. You can also do that on all of these other cost sheets as well, by the way. You've got this information space here, different dates on all of them. Now, that happens quite often in government agencies when civil servants, say, go overseas into a, a war zone to support the troops or something like that. They will get extra money during that period on top of their normal rates like danger money it could be called or whatever it's called it would be extra so they would get it during that period and then they'd revert back as soon as they came back to their normal working practice but that's how you would do it in the cost sheets under resource information so if i click ok to that that will apply now just because i don't like looking at this um these red men everywhere i'm just going to level this off level all so just move them all so then I don't have any more red men, which is really bad practice. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use different cost sheets to charge different rates for a resource. So hopefully that's been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.